Hi, my dear student. Welcome you all to the Mass College. Today we are going to learn about new lesson, circumference of the circle. Before identify circumference of the circle, I remember for you. Don't forget subscribe our YouTube channel of Mass College. Okay. Now I am going to explain to you your previous knowledge of the part of circle. Look at the board very carefully. You can see part circle. What is this part? This element called center. That means midpoint of the circle we call center, and also we name this as O. Why as O? O mean origin. Origin mean midpoint of any one. Because here we mention as center O. Next circle you can see two part here. One part is radius. What is mean radius? Radius mean the line, the straight line joining the center and any point of the circle we call it as center sorry we call it as radius we can name simple r o capital r because radius first letter of the radius r okay then we can name this line that means radius as o c o c or C. Till accordingly, this figure. Next one, diameter. What is the diameter? Diameter means the line, the straight line joining any two point, any two point of the circle. We call diameter. We can symbol simple D or capital D, and also here according to this figure. We can name A B. A B. Okay. You know this diameter equal to how many R? Two R. We can find diameter equal two time R. Two time R. Then next one. You can see here two name. First one is chord. What is the chord? Chord means the line joining any two point of the circle. We call it as chord. The join, the line, the straight line joining any two point of the circle. We call it chord. You can see here three chords. First chord is D E. Another one A B. And also F G. Okay, you can see a special one. What is special? A B. This chord has a diameter. Yeah, the longest chord of the circle we can identify as a what is as a diameter as a chord. Okay, and another one. R. What do you mean R? R means the curve line. The curve line to hold the arc of the circle. D E and also D B D E minor R and D E major R. D E Minor arc D E major arc. Then draw like this. This is arc. Okay. You now remember about. Our previous knowledge of the 
element of circle okay now we are going to find the perimeters of these figures what is the perimeter perimeter means the sum of length of the plane figure sum of lengths around the plane figure you know according to your knowledge how to find the perimeter of this square all side are equal we can write p equal a multiply 4 because no problem p equal 4 a this is triangle x 2 times 2 sides and here y we can write 2 x addition y no problem here of this figure also we can write perimeter how many times like p p times like this side one time two time three time p is three time we can multiply by three. then addition length of q you can see two time two multiply q and also this one so basically and here remain l that means p equal 3 p addition to q addition is okay no problem we found for square triangle and this figure also what is the perimeter but here we have a circle how to find the perimeter of the circle that means length of sum of length around this figure not mentioned here like this perimeter means sum of length of this figure we have a problem how to find today we are going to find what is how to find the perimeter of circle yes perimeter of the circle we have given very special name for the perimeter of the circle. What is? Circumference. Why? Circumference without perimeter. Because this circle has curve length boundary. We call it as special name circumference. We have given to find the circumference of the circle formula. What is the formula? Look at the board very carefully. C equal 5D. What is pi? Pi is a constant. Constant mean not change in value. The value not change. Constant mean not change. Okay. Pi has the value. What is value? Pi is my dear student. I write here. Pi is 22 upon 7. Oh, we can write another value. This is nearest one. 23.14 22 upon 7 or 3.14 the regularly use 22 upon 7 okay here now we know what is the formula c equal 5d we can apply for 5 this one d is what is d d is 2 time mark because can we apply for d to r 2 times r now we have to write 2 phi r this is the another formula if you have only radius we can apply radius value if you have diameter value we can apply diameter value okay now we are going to solve some problem with this formula now I am going to do two examples by using our learned formula. Here R is 7 cm. We have to find circumference. <coughs> okay, we can apply our theorem. Sorry, formula. C equal 2 phi r. Why r? 2 phi r. We have given r because we can apply 2 phi r. We know now phi is 22 upon 7. C equal, what is C? C means circumference. First letter of 
second parenthesis C because uh, we symbolize the second parenthesis capital of simple C to multiply 22 upon 7 R is 7 centimeter should be mentioned unit 7 to 7 cancel remain to multiply 22 is 44 is final answer of the circumference of circle now we can go to second example we have a diameter as a 21 centimeter we learned another formula also what is circumference is 5d because we can apply this formula c equal 5 is 22 upon 7 d is 21 centimeter cancel by 7 1 here for 21 3 22 multiply 3 is 66 66 centimeter circumference of this circle is 66 centimeter okay now we are going to how to find the perimeter of semicircle and compound circular figure okay look at the board you have find the perimeter of following figures by applying our formula you can see first one what is this semicircular lamina we have mentioned perimeter why perimeter circumference apply only for circle but here we call to this perimeter here half of circle because half of the formula value that means p equal here d because 5d but but 5d for the whole circle but here semicircle because we have to divide by 2 Addison, this straight line segment, what is this straight line segment? Diameter, 21 centimeter. Now we can write 5 is 22 upon 7, D is 21 centimeter. And also you can see here 2, we can write like this. 1 second addition 21 centimeter cancel by 7 1 cancel by 7 here 3 cancel by 2 1 cancel by 2 11 11 multiply 3 is 33 centimeter addition 21 centimeter 1 addition 3 4 2 addition 3 5 perimeter of this circular lamina semicircular lamina is 54 centimeter now let's go for the second example here you can see semicircle part and also two straight line we can write like this p equal for the semicircle here 7 mean diameter 5d upon 2 addition 2 times 6 2 times 6 centimeter 5 is 22 upon 7 d is 7 centimeter and also this 2 half addition 2 times 6 is 12 centimeter now cancel by 7 1 by 7 1 by 2 1 by 2 11 11 multiply 1 multiply 1 is 11 centimeter addition 12 centimeter 2 addition 1 is 3 1 addition 1 is 2 23 centimeter is the perimeter of this figure now third example you can see here two semicircular parts and also we have to add this straight line part also okay we can apply the our formula find the semicircular part but what is the value of this 
Yes, we can find how 10.5 this length, 7 cm this length. Sorry. This length is 7 cm because 10.5 subtraction 7 we can find this length. 5 10 subtract 3 is 3. 3.5 is this value. Okay. Now we can find like this perimeter. If we mention simple R, we can mention this one capital R. We have here radius because we can apply C equal 2 pi R but half of 2 pi R because in semicircular part. Okay. 2 pi R divided by 2 addition. 2 pi capital R divided by 2 addition. 2 times this line segment. 2 times 3.5. Now 2 to 2 cancel, 2 to 2 cancel. 5 is 22 upon 7. Simple R is 7 cm. Why this 7 cm? This is for the small circular part. 7 cm. Addition 22 upon 7. Capital R is 10.5. 10.5. We can try it, my dear student, 10.5 as 21 divided by 2. Why like apply this? We can simplify easy. 21 divided by 2 addition. 2 multiply 3.5 is here 7 cm. Now cancel by 7. 22 remain, addition cancel by 7, 1 here, 3, by 2, 1, by 2, 11, 11 multiply 3 is 33, 33 centimeter addition 7, now 7, 3, 10, 10, 2, 12, 1 left. 3 addition to 5, 5 with 1, 6 cm, 62 cm. Now, you are learned how to solve in some problems by using our new formula, circumference of the circle. C equal 2 phi r or C equal phi d and also you know now what is the 5, 5 is constant and constant value is 22 upon 7. Okay, my dear student, you can now do more exercises, more examples by using this formula. Okay, I say goodbye all of you, have a good future.